Hi guys, welcome back to another video. As you can see today, or tonight really, all of my eyeshadow palettes are laid out on my bed. We are doing an eye makeup collection and mini declutter video. Um, I'm calling it a mini declutter just because I'm not really necessarily looking to declutter many things. Um, my goal here is just to get rid of a couple here and there, you know, not to get rid of too much, just stuff I'm not using anymore. So we're going to go through and talk about what palettes I own, um, maybe some of my favorites. I'll tell you guys as we go through what I like and what I necessarily don't really like too much, but I have it in my collection. So we'll do these. We will do single shadows. We'll do eyeliners, mascaras, that kind of thing. And without further ado, we're going to go ahead and start off with the big boy, the eyeshadow palettes. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so of course all my palettes are not completely in view here. There are plenty that are on the sides as well. So let's just go ahead and start off with my Morphe palettes. Um, I do kind of have them on the more affordable side, seeing as nothing I bought from Morphe has been outrageously expensive, like Too Faced or ABH. So first I have the 24A Artist Pass palette. This is probably one of my favorite Morphe palettes, if not my number one, because I love this so, so much. Um, I've hit pan on this shade right here, Secret Set. It's just so pretty. I'm not too crazy about this glitter, but the rest of the glitters in here I do actually like. So I'm going to definitely keep this one. I also have here the Discontinued Morphe and Jeffree Star palette. This isn't my favorite. I'm going to be honest, it's kind of meh to me, but I do really like the silver and the pink and the whole top row I really do enjoy. So I'm going to keep this one. And then I also have the Morphe Lisa Frank collab. This one's absolutely stunning. I really, really like this palette so much that I bought it for a friend for Christmas. Um, I'll turn it that way maybe so you guys can see the colors better. The packaging is kind of weird. It blinds you if it goes a certain way. But I really do love this one. It's a super nice colorful palette. It's definitely my favorite colorful palette that I own because it's just so fun and the colors are so pretty. And then I have the OG Jaclyn Hill palette. Um, She's been well loved. I don't really reach for this anymore because I find the formula isn't really the same as it was before. I think she's going a little bad, but I do like to keep it for nostalgia. I love this palette. Next, I have the 24G Grand Glam. Now, I do not really use this one anymore. Um, I've never really used it on myself. It's always been one that I take from my pageant girls and I use it on them. Um, I'm going to keep this around for that purpose, doing makeup on other people. I really do like it. And then I also have three more Morphe palettes. I've got two of the huge ones. And then I've got the Morphe Madison Beer Collection palette. This is one of my favorite nude palettes. I really do enjoy this one. I'm going to keep. I'm um, sorry to disappoint you guys. I'm not getting rid of any of my Morphe things. I just, I love Morphe. I think that they come up with some really nice eyeshadows. I would declutter the James Charles, but I do use it for special effects. Um, and that's the only reason I'm keeping this. I mean, you see I tore a few shades up like this one and that one. So I'm going to keep this one around for special effects purposes. He does not stay with my eyeshadow palettes because he's too big. I mean, I don't reach for him for eye makeup, so he does stay with my special effects makeup. And this one stays in another um, place because it's just so big. This is the Such a Gem palette. Um, I'm not crazy about this palette, but I do keep it around just in case I want like super purpley and pink looks. So, and I do like the whole middle row and how they're creamy shadows, so I'm going to keep that one around as well. I really do just love all Morphe shadows, minus the James Charles palette. It gives me a really bad rash on my eyes, that's why I just use it on my face. My eyes are really sensitive, so I don't really like that one as much as the others but I am going to keep him around for special effects purposes. So let's move on to another brand. Okay, so let's do Wet n Wild next. Um, this color icon, Walking on Eggshells palette, is new. It's been in my new products bin. I'm going to keep it because I'm still trying it out. And then I have this Bed of Roses one here that survived my last declutter. I'm going to keep him around a bit longer. I don't know. I just really like these colors. I don't necessarily use it all the time, but it was limited edition. So I'm going to keep him around. And then I've got two of these full circuit palettes. Hmm. I think I'm going to get rid of this one and keep this one. I think that's what I'll do. And then I have the Bretton, Bretman Rock 
Wet n Wild palette, the Jungle Rock one. Um, I'll still get a little more use out of this. I haven't used it in a while, but I just have a hard time kind of being creative with it for some reason. And so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to try. If I don't get much use out of it next time, he'll be gone. So let's do ColourPop. I think, yeah, I think I just have three. So I do have these three. I've got the Star Wars Mandalorian, the Child palette. I just used this today. I love it. I'm keeping and then I also have the Sweet Talk palette. Now, I took a few of the shades out and replaced them with singles that I had. Um, so, this is not the original palette. It's got some mixed in ones in there. And I'm going to keep. So, I kind of made it my own. It's cute. Really, for springtime, it's adorable. And then I have the Gather Around Sisters Hocus Pocus collab palette. I'm going to keep this one around, too, for sentimental purposes. But I really do like it as well. So let's do Juvia's Place. Dun -dun. Okay, so I've got the Warrior palette by Juvia's. Looks like this. This is one of the neutral ones that I really do love. I'm going to keep. Nubian 3 Coral looks like this. It's really similar to Sweet Talk, but I like this one a bit better because the formula is a bit more smooth. Like I said, I'm not really looking to declutter a lot. Just stuff that I don't really use as much. So let's move on to e.l.f. Makeup Revolution and Hard Candy. This is the Hard Candy Look Pro Eyeshadow Palette. That's all it says on the back. This is kind of a dupe for one of the Huda palettes. I really do like this one for softer looks. It's actually really nice. I'm going to keep it. Actually, mm, I have kind of similar colors. I think I'm going to get rid of it. I'll get rid of it. I keep having a hard time because I really do like that palette, but like it just compared to other palettes it doesn't do quite as well. I'm going to get rid of it. I'm not going to look back. I'm going to get rid of it. Okay, so Makeup Revolution. Um, I already decluttered quite a few palettes two weeks ago, I think, and I gave them to my mom and the Chocolate S'mores for Makeup Revolution was one of them, so he's no longer with us. <laughs> but this is the Revo Pooches palette. This is super cute for just quick on-the-go looks. I'm definitely keeping it. I love this palette. And then one of my favorite palettes of all time is their Haunted House palette. Um, so sad that you cannot get this anymore. But I really, really love this color story. It's just nice. It's grungy. It's got neutrals. It's got reds. It's got even a purple, a gold, a silver. It's just got everything I need to make me feel comfortable with my eyeshadow looks. Um, this kind of These are my colors. I really do love that. And then I've got the Elf Retro Paradise palette. Um, I kind of just quit using this for a while. And then I used it the other day for my makeup. I used the lavender and then the shade Disco. And I really just forgot how amazing it was. So I'm going to keep it around. I'm going to play with it a little bit longer. Hopefully I can create more looks with it. And just have a better time than I have been recently with it. Because I kind of just forgot about it. And he was sitting there. And it was sad. But moving right along. I have the Full Moon Fever palette from Angel Empire Cosmetics. I think now they're Haunt, Haunted How Beauty. Yes, Haunting How Beauty. One of those two. I'll link them down below. Great indie brand. I love the owner. She's so sweet. This is the, what I call this, Full Moon Fever. <laughs> this one right here in the middle is my favorite inner corner and brow bone shade. I love it so much. It's so bright you can't even really catch it on camera. But I really do like all the colors in here. I'm going to put him away so I'm going to keep him. He stays in a different drawer. He stays with my indie makeup. So, And then this is the last kind of more affordable one that I have. I put Beauty Bay on here because compared to, again, like Anastasia and Too Faced, it's kind of like Morphe pricing, I feel like. So this is the Nikki Tutorials palette. Um, rather new, really new to me, actually. I'm going to keep. I've been loving this so far. I love the mix of colorfuls and the neutrals in there, so I'm keeping Let's move on to higher-end palettes. Okay, so even though I don't talk about Jeffree Star Cosmetics on my page much anymore, I do still have shadows of his that are in Z palettes because I threw the packaging away. Um, and I have most of them in this huge Give Me Glow Pro Custom palette. Um, here at the bottom, these circular pans are ColourPop. But I am definitely keeping... I really love how I set this up. I do use this quite a bit off-camera. So I am going to keep that. And that is all but one 
of his palettes. Well, two, because Beauty Killer's in a different one. But this is the smoky colored palette in a little tart one. They all just kind of fit in here. This silver is from the Thirsty palette, but I did want to include it in here because I love how it goes with all the other colors. And I'm going to keep that one. I don't do smoky eyes often, but when I do, of course, that's what I reach for. Is it's really the only smoky palette I own. And then let's move on to Too Faced. I think I just have, well, nope, I have one behind here. I lied. I have four Too Faced palettes. This one is the Life's a Festival palette. This has some really nice duochromes in here. I really love this one for colorful looks. I'm going to keep. Pumpkin Spice is um, kind of newer. I've had him for a couple months now, but I really do love it. I have Gingerbread Extra Spicy. I found this one in Marshalls a while back, and I love it. It is kind of similar to Pumpkin Spice, but they're not the exact same. And then I have Chocolate Gold which is my favorite of the four. I love it, especially for somebody, like if you're someone who is just getting into makeup or isn't quite sure what to do with your makeup, it has four mattes. So I use this one to set my lid. And then I use this one as my transition shade, crease, and then to darken everything up. And then you can choose whatever shimmer to put on your lid. It's really nice. I love that one. ABH. Gosh, <laughs> I have six. I think, yeah, six. Okay, so we'll start out with the smaller ones and then we'll do the pro palettes. If you hear my chair squeaking, I'm so sorry. This is the soft glam. I did have Norvina and Subculture, but um, Subculture, I only use like three shades and that's really all I liked it for. So I put it up on Poshmark. I decluttered it with the ones that I did a couple weeks ago. And then Norvina. The shimmers creased on my lids and I just was not a fan of that so I gave it to my mom because there are more colors that she would like anyway and I think that she could get more enjoyment out of it than I did. So I have Soft Glam. This is stunning. I love Soft Glam. Sultry. I love the packaging on Sultry. So pretty. And Riviera. And these are all the... Oh, don't drop her. These are all the small ones that I have. And then I have three Pro Palettes. I'm only missing one. So we'll do Volume 1. This is Volume 1 is the purpley one. And I, I really love the looks that I did do with this. So I used B4 in my crease. And then I blended it out with this red right here. And then I put... What did I put in my lid? Oh yeah, this gold. And it was just... It was so different, but it was so pretty. I've... I've just been loving to play with color lately. It's so cool. So much fun. So then I have volume three with the butterflies on it. It's so pretty. The mattes in here are gorgeous. The shimmers disappoint me, but the mattes are so pretty. I do love the mattes in here. But the shimmers compared to other Anastasia palettes are just so bar to me. They don't really perform like the others, but the mattes are just a dream. And then we have volume four. So I'm missing volume two, but this is the pinky one, pinky purpley, a couple of nudes. You've got a pop of a purple in the middle. This is so pretty. I love this one. This one makes me want to do more neutrally looks just because there are quite a few um, neutral colors in here. So let's move on. Um, I have two Melt Cosmetics and then the rest are just kind of all over the place. So we'll just move on to those. Okay, so from Melt, I have the Recently Deceased palette and the Waiting Room palette, the Beetlejuice collection ones. I'm keeping these. Beetlejuice is my favorite movie. These are my favorite palettes to play with right now. This is the Waiting Room. I love this one. So nice. Then I have this palette here from a Belk brand. It's called Goodness and Grace. It was a Christmas gift. Um, I'm still playing with it a bit. I do like the shimmers in here. It's got even like a blush and a bronzer in the middle that you can play with too so I really kind of like this especially um I mean we're not traveling right now of course but if traveling ever does become a thing right now or ever again <laughs> this would be the thing to take with you because it's just so nice it's got a lot of colors in there and the blush and the bronzer with it so this is the makeup by Mario palette the master metals and you can use these dry or you can wet your brush and use them and they give off more pigment love these they're so unique because you can use them wet as well and then we have the Urban Decay Stone Vibes palette. This one is just so unique as well. I have quite a few unique palettes in my collection, but this is definitely one of them. Um, the shimmers in here, 
the ones in the middle on the top and bottom are just amazing they look wet on the lid they're a bit um transparent like if you put down a mat beneath them you'll be able to see the matte shade as well but they do just give off such a pretty shimmer then i have huda beauty desert dusk this is my favorite for a long time i haven't played with her as much recently but i definitely need to because this is just so beautiful so i'm gonna keep and I have two more, and I'm going to get rid of these last two. Um, actually, I lied. I have four more palettes, I think. I have mini eyeshadow palettes I keep apart from these. Ulta Beauty Bloom palette. Um, it's just kind of meh. I'm going to get rid of it. And Contour Cosmetics Aphrodite palette. I lusted after this for so long. They discontinued it. I still looked for it. I found somebody on Depop selling it from UK, bought it, had it sent over, I think I paid like 12 bucks for it with shipping and everything, it was like 20, um, had this for a long time, colors are just kind of meh, um, gonna declutter, feels so good to say that, okay, let's grab my mini palettes, and let's talk about them, there's four, and I'm probably gonna keep all these, I'm not gonna lie, but this is also a collection video, so I'm here to show, um, Too Faced Hot Buttered Rum, a little mini palette I found it at Ross for like $7.99 I think it's so cute um it smells amazing I just I love their tin packaging it's adorable Colourpop pretty much again um a few shades in here I think two just weren't really me like there was a hot pink and then like a dark dark brown shimmer but I changed them out and kind of made it my own and this is such a cute palette when we did travel I would bring this with me because it was just it was adorable it was such a cute little palette Anastasia Daytime Quad. Still love this. I love the packaging. I love how small it is. I love how versatile and just neutral it is. Keeping. And Natasha Denona Peak Palette. I could not make up my mind if I wanted to keep or get rid of it because it's just a little neutral palette. Like, how many of these do I have? A lot. Um, well, more than I need because I never really use neutrals that much. But because it's Natasha Denona and I've always wanted to try her palettes, um, I decided to keep it. It was the BoxyCharm palette. So I'm going to put all of these away. Um, we got rid of four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we got rid of four. Um, it's, could I have done better? Absolutely, I could have. Um, I don't know how many we kept, but I will definitely count. I'm scared too because I know it's a lot. Um, I will count and then I will get my mascaras and eyeliners and things like that out. So before I put these away, I did count how many I kept, and I kept 41 eyeshadow palettes. <sighs> it's a lot, I know, but, well, really 42 if you count the big one with all of my JSC eyeshadows in it, so I didn't count that one. I, again, I keep them away from the others, so 42. Wow. It's a lot, but they do get used regularly. I don't really use um, one palette the same week. <laughs> I like to rotate pretty often. And then ones that I know that I haven't used in a while, I will use them um, just to get some use out of them and to see, you know, what looks I can create. And just to have fun. I really do love all of my eyeshadows. The ones that I did keep are ones that I use frequently or that I'm going to start because I miss them. So, um, yes, I'm going to put these away and we'll be right back to continue. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. I am just forgetting all kinds of stuff today. So, I do have one more palette that I forgot to mention. And then I do have eye products in here. Um, I do keep my Kylie Grinch collection in a drawer together because I have the whole collection and I just wanted it to stay together. So I do have the Kylie Grinch palette. You guys know that. You guys have seen it before. No stranger here. And then I also have all four of the eye sticks, the eyeliner, and one eye glaze because the green one is on Poshmark. I just didn't really think I'd use it that much, but we do have the gold one here. So before I forgot, I wanted to show you guys that they are indeed in my collection still. Most of them have gone nowhere. Um, quite a few of the lipsticks I just decided I didn't want. So those are gone, mainly. I do still have a couple that I decided to keep. Other than that, yes, everything is here. Okay, mascara. Let's get you guys lowered a bit so we can be a bit closer to my bed. And just see everything a little better. Yay! Okay, so there is one in there that is new. Um, I'm still trying it out. It's my new products box. Um, I did just literally throw him in there so you guys could see it. This is the Milk Kush mascara um not that great to be honest i'm um, not impressed it's just a little sample size this is the birthday gift thing from sephora 
that the primer and one of the cheek um cheek sticks came in there i can't think of what they're called anyway so this is my box um i have two perversion mascaras from urban decay i've got a a baby and a mama one and i love these they're actually really really nice and then i have a lot of essence mascaras these are some of my favorites if you can't tell um i've got um the i've got two of the og lash princesses i have a waterproof og lash princess i got the volumizing one the thickening one and a waterproof volume hero essence mascara i of course have better than sex it's one of my favorites from too faced an Estee Lauder one that's pretty decent. Um, it's kind of in the middle for me. I do have one primer from L'Oreal. It's their Voluminous Base. I just find that sometimes it can make my mascara get a little clumpy. So I don't use them often and have to be careful like how much mascara I put over it or it will get kind of gross. Um, this is the Tarte Big Ego. This is the Great Lash from Maybelline. And then I have a Laura Geller one. So, when it comes to mascara, um, I'm going to get rid of the Great Lash. I just don't really think it does anything. It's not fantastic. And I also... It's so hard. I love all of them so much. I don't know. I think I'm going to keep the rest. The rest of them, I like them all. Let me see. One of these might be old, but I doubt it. That one's good. I keep Lash Princess around forever. It's just one of the best mascaras out there. So yeah, the rest of these I'm going to keep. I do like these. Um, I have a lot of them that have this kind of wand like better than Sex does. Just because I really like this kind of wand for some reason. Like that hourglass shape. So I'm going to keep the rest of them. I'm going to put these away. I think we will do single shadows next so much like eyeshadow palettes i did go through and declutter my singles um not too long ago on my channel actually so if you want to watch that you can go back i got rid of a whole bucket full of stuff so these are the ones that i really do like um i do have my favorites in a little acrylic drawer here so we'll go through this first and then we'll go through this and see what happens so i've got a tarte rose gold um paint pot it's for eyeliner but i use it on my lid a lot keeping I'm going to keep everything that's in here. I'm just going to show you. Um, I have a Glamour Doll Eyes. This is a girlfriend sweater. It's in matte purple. Tickets to Horrorland from what was Angel Empire Cosmetics. This is Headless Ghost from Angel Empire Cosmetics. Ghost Beach. This is from NYX. This is Mermaid. So pretty. A Too Faced Glitter in Nude Beam. You can't see that, so I will have to open this one. There it is. It's super pretty. Just a nude shimmer. Um, the Balm Over Shadow. If you're rich, I'm single. Pretty. I've got four ColourPop shadows. I've got Heavenly as a pressed shadow. Mr. Sandman as a pressed shadow. And then I've got, these are super shocks, Tassel and Frog. So the white one is Tassel. It's so white you can't see. I had to <laughs> focus the camera. Keeping both of these, I really love ColourPop Super Shock Formula. And this one is Frog. And then I've got a Stila Smudge Pot in the shade Kitten. I, again, this is supposed to be like a smudge pot but i like it for a cream shadow same as i do for the tart one Too faced gold pigment this is from dawn eyes cosmetics this is the shade magical i'm just gonna open this i'm gonna be very careful because i don't want to spill any but at the same time i want you guys to be able to see this because it's stunning do you see that shift oh my gosh i have to swatch i have to but Alyssa, you promised yourself you wouldn't i don't care I don't care. Man, that's... The shift. It's so pretty. And it is magical. You're right. I'm dramatic. But this is the Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Liquid Shadow. It's my only liquid shadow, and I think it's really interesting. Let me put all this back in my little drawer, and then we'll go through 
this and to see if maybe if there's anything I want to add to my drawer. Okay, so this isn't the best angle on my little container here, but I'm going to add my Dawn Eyes Cosmetic pigment back into here just because I don't use it as much. But in here, let me see, these are my indie shadows. So let me grab all of them and we'll go over them. Okay, I think that's it. Yeah, that's all that was in there. Okay, well I do have one glitter, but it stays in my glitter compartment. We'll go over that later. So I do have two here. These are from Beauty from the Earth. I've got The Last Drop and Sea Foam. And of course, Sea Foam is a sea foam. And then The Last Drop, kind of see it's a black glitter. Um, these are from, again, what used to be Angel Empire Cosmetics. Now they're Haunted How Beauty. This is their stained glass heart glitter gel. My container broke, so I had to put it in an empty Tatcha container. It's stunning, though. Like, the reflex in there are absolutely beautiful. Oh, don't fall. Why did I do that? I'm an idiot. Um, let's see. And then I have, I think this is strawberry soda. Their little glitter. Man, that's pretty, too. I'm just not a big fan of glitter. It used to be, especially for putting it in my inner corner, but... Um, I've just been liking to not use it lately, but I do have them in there if I decide to use them. I don't remember where these two are from. They're little samples, but one's pink, one's green. Mm, do I need them? No, I don't use them. I'm going to get rid of them because I don't even know where they were from. I want them in a giveaway. They came in plastic bags to where you could put them in the jar if you wanted to. And I just threw the plastic baggies away because why keep them? <laughs> and now I don't know where they were from, so throw it away or get rid of them. My mom might want them. Somebody will take them. This is Copper Pop from DM Cosmetics. I think they're like a Facebook group. Again, I want it in that giveaway. Oh, there's a hair on it. Um, I tell myself I'm going to use this and I don't. I'm going to get rid of it. I've got two from Notoriously Morbid. These are my babies. I love these. Again, I want them in the giveaway. I've got Unbirthday and I'll keep the vultures guessing. And then I have this one from Glamour Doll Eyes. It's the same one as my purple matte loose one is from. This is Gangsta's Don't Cry. And this one is very pretty, actually. I might add this one to my acrylic drawer. Kind of looks like nude beam, doesn't it? With less glitter. Yeah, I'm going to add that one to my drawer. And then in here, these are all my little perfume samples. I've got a MAC eyeshadow. I sold all the rest of them because I wasn't too crazy about these pressed ones. This is Heat Element. It's got gold and red. You can tell I really like that. And then in here, I've got loose pigments. Again, I've got a silver one from Wet n Wild. Kind of like a taupey one from MAC. And a, another silver one. I've got two creams. I've got Endless Sea from L'Oreal. This is part of their Infallible line. Let me see if I can get this piece off. No, I'm going to drop it. That's what it looks like. And then I've got this copper one from a pharmacy. It's very pretty. I think it's just called copper orange pop. Not even called copper. It's like a coppery shade. I'm going to put this in my acrylic drawer. I do like it. And then here I have some glitters. These are all from NYX. I've got holographic, I've got teal, I've got pink, and I've got black. iridescent. Yes, Alyssa, throw everything across the room. How'd you know? I've got Beauty Bar Baby. This is in the shade Fantasy. Again, a glitter. And then in here, I've just got some mixing mediums, like one from Beauty Bar Baby and one from Stila. I'm gonna close this. Let's see, what do I wanna do next? I think we'll do brows. Let's do brows, and then we'll do eyeliners, and then we'll be done. I lied. I've been lying a lot in this video. I'm sorry. I keep forgetting. So I do have eye primers. Of course, I am a human. I have eye primers. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you don't use eye primers, that's completely fine. You can use concealers. I just like my eye primers, okay? Let's just go ahead and go through these. Ta-da! Okay. <laughs> this one is from NYX. This is the black eye base. Um, you can use this for like a smoky eye to put it on your lid and then blend it out. Um, I don't use this as much, and it is pretty dry, I'm not going to lie, but I'm going to keep it. 
You can also use an eyeliner for that purpose. You do not need a black eye base. Um, in fact, hmm, I'm going to keep, I'm just going to keep it. Uh, mm, gosh, why do I keep thinking? Um, I'm going to get rid of it. I just don't use it. Yeah, we're going to do it. We're just going to get rid of it. So I'm going to put this here so you can see that I did indeed get rid of it. Okay. <laughs> Focus, Alyssa. Next, I have Cut Crease Canvas from Makeup Revolution. It is white. Um, more specifically, in the shade Halo. Would you please focus? Thank you. Halo. Um, Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit, the eyeshadow in the shade Camelback. It's a nude. I use it for an eye primer. You can also use it to cut your crease. I don't use it for that, though. ABH Eye Primer. This is the big one. They don't sell it anymore. They only sell minis. Um, Eden Eye Primer from Urban Decay. It's matte. Too Faced Glitter Glue, the NYX Glitter Glue, same exact thing, um, just cheaper. But I could never find that one in stock. The NYX one was always out of stock, so I got Too Faced. Um, these are from AOA Studio, a dollar each. Amazing. And there's the soft base, which is matte, and like a nude shade. And then tacky base is, of course, a sticky base, kind of like the glitter primer. When I do looks and I use um, a brush to apply my shimmers, I will go in and put the tacky base down first. And then with the same brush that I apply the tacky base, I'll apply the shimmer. And it really just helps give um, like the most amount of pigment possible and helps that stick to the eye better. I've been really doing that a lot lately. KVD Shake Eye Primer. This really was a disappointment. Um... I don't want it. Yep, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm going to do it. It was such a disappointment. I expected better things, and it just let me down. But this one has not let me down. This is the MAC Painterly Pro Longwear Paint Pot. This is anything but let me down. At first, I thought it was a little too dark, but I've been working with it, and I actually really do like it. So I got rid of two eye primers, y'all. Dang. It's a sad day. I'm just kidding. I kind of needed to get rid of a couple anyway. Who needs that many eye primers? But y'all already know. I'll probably get more. I'll probably go to Ulta and be like, oh, hey, an affordable eye primer. I'm going to get that. So, and then I'll smack myself in the face when I get home for it because <laughs> I already have a full drawer full of them. So, I'm going to put these away. I'm going to get brow products. We'll be right back. Okay, we are on to brows. It's not the most exciting part. I know but I get a lot of questions on what I use to do my brows all the time. So, um, we will see, you'll kind of see here, like what I go through, what I get rid of, and I'll tell you guys what I use the most. So I have quite a few of these little angle brow pencils just all over the place. Seriously, I have a whole drawer full of them. I do have this Maybelline, um, little pencil. It's like a concealer pencil for under your brows. I really do like that. This Mellow Cosmetics brow definer is just way too pigmented and it just gets messy real quick. It's a bit too dark for me. So I'm gonna get rid of this one and I'm gonna keep the Wet n Wild one that I like a bit better. It's in the shade Taupe. It's just a bit lighter, it's easier to work with. I'm also gonna keep the Wet n Wild Micro Brow Pencil and the NYX Micro Brow Pencil. I'm gonna keep the It Cosmetics one and my Hard Candy one. I use this Hard Candy one the Marilyn Monroe one a lot. It's so nice. It's a bit more warm tone than the other ones. And then this one is one of those microblading pins from Essence. It was $3.99 and I'm going to keep it just because it's fun to play with um, on days when you just don't really know what you want to use. I reach for this one. And then as far as powders go, I have three. My favorite brow powder of all time if you're a powder person. Um, this one is like $2 I think. It's from City Color. It's the Bold Brow Duo. So I, this is my favorite one of all time. Definitely keeping. This one from the Balm, the Brow Pal. It's in the shade Blonde, but it looks brown. I'm going to get rid of it. It's just not pigmented enough for me. Not my favorite. But I will keep the Benefit Full Proof Brow Powder. This is in the shade 1. Normally I'm the shade 3, but um, I do use the darker shade in this a lot. I've almost hit pan on the darker shade. As far as pomades go, I have three. 
So I have the shade 3 from Benefit. This is a mini. I love this. Um, I wish I could get a full size, but they're kind of expensive, so I'm kind of sticking to what I have for now. And then I have ABH in Caramel, and this one is too dark for me. I will still use it sometimes, but it's, um, I have bold brows on the days that I decide to use this because they are thick and dark. And I also have a KVD Vegan Beauty one. This is the Super Brow in the shade White Out. Um, this is messy, don't judge. Um, I use this when I want to do little cutouts in my brows. Don't ask me why I would want to do that. I just think they're fun. So, also when I need to do a white base for my eyeshadow, I'll use that. I have a lot of gels, um, and I need to get rid of a few. So, let's just do that. I have Benefit 24-Hour Brow Setter I'm keeping. This one from the Brow Bar, I'll get rid of. It's just not as good as the other ones. This one from NYX, this is the brow glue I'll keep. I have a big gimme brow, so I will get rid of the tiny one. And then I have two ABH ones I'm going to keep. I also have this milk makeup one in the shade Herb I will keep. And then back here I have two more brow brushes and a high brow from Benefit. Um, I like using this as an eyeliner, so I'm actually going to put this with my eyeliners. I'm going to put everything away because I'm keeping everything else. I'm going to put this away and get my eyeliners. Okay, we're finally at the last part. Eyeliner. So, of course, I am adding highbrow in. Um, but there are a lot here that I do need to get rid of because they're old. And I just have ones that I know I like better than the ones that are in here. Um, like, I normally use eyeshadows or one of these little wet and wild eye sticks. Um, there's a black one that I actually really, really like. Also going to get rid of these eye sticks. Quite a few of them. So this eye stick is in the shade Mud Run. Um, it's bronzy, in fact a bit too bronzy for me. I'm gonna get rid of it. I have this one in the shade Running Naked. I'm gonna kinda go through these quicker. Um, gosh, I have a hair on my hand, it won't go away. I'm gonna get rid of this one too. It's pretty, it's just um, a bit hard to get pigment off of, so I'm going to get rid of that one actually. I'll keep this one as an inner corner to play with it a bit more. I've got this one from e.l.f. It's just black. I'm going to keep. Yeah, I'm going to keep that one. I've got this white one from NYX. I'm going to keep. I've got another one from NYX. A brown one. I'm going to keep. It's got a glitter in it. This one from MAC is super old. I don't even know. Oh, yeah. It's gross. Um, like, it's kind of melted. But that side's pretty. This side's really pretty. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> yes, for that side. This is a glitter from NYX. I need to make sure it's not like hardened or anything because sometimes they do dry out and just get gross. And he is not. He's still good. So I'm going to keep that. This little Steve Laurent eyeliner pen. It's like one of the um, felt tips. I'm going to get rid of it. Probably should have to toss it out because I'm not a big fan of it. These gel liners. I've got one from MAC, one from e.l.f. Oh, I'm bumping into my stuff. And this is... um. LA girl, you just can't really see the thing on it anymore. This is their gel liner. I'm going to keep all these. I love potted gel liners. Let's see. This is from Ulta Beauty. This is just an eyeliner pencil. Black eyeliner pencils are great. I'm going to keep it. LA girl shockwave neon liner. Love this. This MAC one, because I have the other one, do I need this one? It's not even that pigmented. I'm going to get rid of this glittery MAC one. I'm going to keep this... Too Faced Bulletproof Shadow Liner. It's a silver one. Also going to keep this Ulta Beauty Dual Liner. Silver Shadow Stick. Because I have the Too Faced one. Do I need this? It's really pretty. Yeah, I'm going to keep this one too. Katy Perry Eyeliner. Are you still good? Um, yes, yes he is. So I'm going to keep the Katy Perry Cover Girl Liner. Um, Hard Candy Cat Eye is out. So this Hard Candy Cat Eye Liner is out. Um, MAC White Eyeliner. Yes, it's still good. I'm going to keep it. Physician's Formula. Their little sexy booster. Yeah, it still works. One of the best eyeliners I've used. Had it for years and it's still good. All of these LA Colors liners are very new to me. I just got them all in a set for Christmas. Here they all are. I'm going to keep. 
Oh, baby, it's okay. My dog struggles to breathe sometimes. Um, Ulta Beauty, again, a brown liner. I'm going to keep it. Super cat fat, one of my favorite felt tips. And then I also have a wet and wild felt tip that I'm going to keep. And then the rest of these wet and wild ones, let's go through these. This one is Mauve Girl. It's more rose gold. I'm going to keep this one. Rose gold. Endorphin High. I think this might be the, no, this is the black. So I really do like the black. I'm going to keep it. I use the black a lot. Brown one called Protein Shake. Oh, that's pretty. I'm going to keep the brown one. And the purple one is called Fave Leggings. And there's the purple. I've got a few more swatched on my hand. I'm going to get rid of the purple. Yeah, just because I don't think I'd use it really. Yeah, so I'm going to get rid of the purple as well. So I think that's it, you guys, for the eye section of my makeup collection video. I also have brushes, but I'm not really going to be throwing away any brushes because I use them consistently. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Next time we'll do face powders, so highlights, bronzers, blushes, palettes, that kind of stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.